Joining today is Veterans Day. And we're learning more about a new exhibit coming to a New Orleans museum and how veterans were honored in the unveiling of that exhibit. Here's NBC's Anna McAllister with more. My whole life has been different than most, most American women. 100-year-old Virginia Wilterdink has lived a life filled with incredible experiences, but nothing compared to serving in World War II. I walked in and said, well, I'm an RN. Would you like me to be a part of the medical team for our soldiers? And so they made me a second lieutenant in the Army Nurse Corps. Walter Dink was one of 20 veterans honored at the World War II Museum. Many of the veterans were just teens when they joined the military. Uh, I was 16 years old the day I went in the Army. I was uh, 18. I threatened to run away from home if I didn't get in. About two weeks after I got in, I threatened to run away, but they would have shot me. These veterans served our country during one of the deadliest wars in American history, risking their lives for our freedom. But Thursday night, they were honored with the red carpet treatment, followed by an extraordinary show. Expressions of America, a new attraction at the museum, is a light and sound show that showcases the personal reflections of World War II veterans. The veterans overwhelmed by joy and gratitude, and they say it's an experience they'll never forget. I just can't believe the, the camaraderie with the, the veterans and the people that I've met since I've been here. I get a little emotional right now. Now I don't really want to. I'm a Marine girl. Marines don't cry, but I did here.